Hey, how y'all doing out there? It's me, Abdul. I am working on a bunch of pictures today from a photo shoot with a local artist. I wanted to just show you all the magic of the adjustment brush and what you can do with it in Lightroom. Now, we were supposed to be shooting on a black background, but I was unable to buy a the large background that I normally use, so I used the smaller <clears throat> roll of seamless paper that I had in my studio for this shoot. Um, as you can see, you can see the uh, the wall in the background, and you can see the the other background that I have in my studio. And obviously, that's not the look that we want. So one of the cool things about Lightroom and the adjustment brush is you can use the brush to adjust areas um, to blend in with this black background. Say I wanted to get rid of this white wall back here. You can just use the brush. You want to turn the exposure down. As you can see, if the exposure, we as we increase the exposure, it goes up. And as you decrease it, it goes down. You don't want to decrease it too much. You just want it to blend in with the, the background in the middle. And we're going to do this over here as well. Now, this will get rid of the most of the areas that you want to get rid of. But as you can see, the lights still show up. You're not going to get rid of those or, or that with the adjustment brush. <clears throat> so what you can do is, I'm going to export this file as it is right now. So I exported it to my folder. And then I'm going to open up Photoshop. And you know, you can do the same technique with white backgrounds. Um, the only difference is you're going to boost up the exposure instead of decreasing it. Um, so as soon as my Photoshop opens, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those lights. <clears throat> Actually, depending on you know, situation, you might want to keep the lights in there, but, you know, in this situation, I'm not going to keep them in there. As you can see, man, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of exposure left here in the middle. I kind of did that because I don't want to get...
on. This is the after. And you can see it only took like a few minutes, couple minutes to do that. And um, like I said before, you can do this for <clears throat> if you have a white background that you need to expand. Use the same technique. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, and the after the look is pretty cool. So that's my tip for today, and I uh, hope you all have a good weekend. Peace.